Today's video is an extension of the previous video where we connected Rust with Postgres. In today's video, we'll perform some operations uh, like insertion and querying with Postgres. So on the right, on my terminal, you see that I'm inside uh, Postgres, which I open with the help of the PSQL command. And I'm using the Postgres user on my uh, machine. And with PSQL, I'm able to interact with the Postgres CLI. So here I am going to go ahead and connect with the uh, <clears throat> library database that we had created in the previous video. In case you haven't checked that video out, make sure you do. Uh, so when we're connected to the library database, I'll check the tables. So because in the previous video, when we connected to Postgres, we created the author and the book tables. Now uh, in my author, uh, table there is currently nothing there are no rows it's zero but in today's program when we run the program not only do we insert three rows in uh, into this table but we also are able to query those three rows and print them out so here if we say again select start from author we'll see these three rows uh, created there now you see four five six in the id instead of one two three because i created these rows earlier and then I deleted them and now i'm creating them again so that's why the ID keeps on incrementing. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll delete from author. So I'll delete all the rows from author for now. And uh, again, we'll select from author. You see nothing here. And then now what we'll do is we'll build the program from scratch. I'll we'll build it uh, along with you guys. And then we'll run it again. And then we'll see that uh, these rows need to be added to this table. Right now, this video is a going to be a part of the 50 Rust projects series. Now this has uh, 34 videos and uh, the the Rust and Postgres connection video will also be uploaded by me. So you'll be able to see that before today's video. So make sure you see that video, which is Rust and Postgres connection. And today's video is an extension. So it's Rust and Postgres uh, operations using, uh, you know, whatever, whatever we had done in the previous video, which was connecting with Rust and Postgres and adding those two tables. And today we're going to be uh, adding data to those tables like basically adding rows to those tables and also querying the table with Postgres. All right, so it's going to, going to be part of the 50 Rust project series. Now, the idea of this series is that I've, I've uh, organized projects in the increasing level of difficulty so that if you start uh, working with these projects uh, in, in the correct order, you'll, you'll just learn more and more and they all build upon each other uh, in terms of knowledge. And then uh, there's also more such series like for example the 53 killer golang project series again if you wanted to learn golang this is the best possible resource on the internet right now then i have the system design course the technology architect course substrate development if you're a blockchain developer and then finally the best one which is the ai and lm projects which are which i'm building up uh, constantly in 2024 this is going to be really important right ai so there's a lot of free content here, a lot of awesome free content actually, which you should be sharing with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this with your friends so that they also benefit from this. And now let's get start. Uh, let's get started with the project. What we will now do is we'll create a um, new project. So I'm gonna say cargo new in my terminal. I'm gonna say uh, Rust Postgres Operations YT. And I'm going to CD into it. Open this up in my VS Code, and the benefit you get with Cargo New is you get the cargo.toml file and you get your SRC folder. Okay. Now in the cargo.toml file, we need only one thing: Postgres dependency. That's it. I've tried to make this project as simple as possible, nothing very complicated. I'm not even using some basic stuff like Tokyo as well. Okay, so that you don't get confused. And here, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, remove all of this. And we just got Postgres, so we're going to import some things from Postgres. Just like last time, we're going to have client to be able to create the client to be able to connect to Postgres. No TLS and error to return Postgres errors. From the standard library, I'm going to need hash maps. So I'm going to say collections and hash map. Now, I create a struct called author. This will help me to uh, basically add to the table author. If you remember from the pre previous video, we had the author had ID name and country. So that's why the struct will also have ID name and country. 
make sure the uh, string the s is capital so struct is something that rust will understand and the table is something that postgres will understand and in rust we have something called a string there we have varchar so that's how we we will map both of these values together function main result In the main function, we'll create our uh, client. Just like last time, we'll connect to Postgres. So I'm using I'm uh, the user on my PC is Postgres. In case uh, you don't have a set user for Postgres, like you didn't get that get it by default, make sure you check it out. Make sure you set a password also so in my case the password is also postgres and it's all running on my localhost 5432 and i already have a database called library so it's going to connect to library database if you don't have it go ahead and create a database called library with the help of create database command create database is all caps <coughs> <coughs> Really sorry, uh, I was at a few events, I was speaking a lot at those events and then that's how my voice, I'm having some problems with my voice and I have a lot of cough now. Anyways, so here we'll create uh, authors, which is in our case a hash map. Create a new hash map. Yeah, so use PSQL, which is the uh, Postgres CLI and create database for library make sure you do that before you start this okay now now comes the most important part which is inserting into authors so authors is our hash map so i'm going to insert into authors string from so i'm going to have genoa or chebe from nigeria And I'm going to have Rabindranath Tagore. He's quite, quite big in India, where I'm from. Rabindranath Tagore, India. Oops, sorry. And Anita are also from India. Okay, so you have these three authors, and now because a hash map has a key and a value, so I'm going to go over all these authors. ID equal to zero, name equal to key dot to string, and country equal to value dot to string. And now I'm going to use my client, which I created here, client, which has the connection to Postgres. I'm going to execute and insert into author name comma country and the values would be dollar one dollar comma two and I will be able to refer to them with the help of author which is this so here I created author with a small a okay one single author with a small a but it's of type author which is capital A which is the struct now as you can see here I forgot to close my struct which is the problem now that's fixed 
<coughs> so that's of type author. And this author with the small a is uh, going to have zero and then uh, the name and country, which we are going to receive in key and value from authors, which is this. And then one by one, we're going to uh, insert into author all of these values. So client or execute, insert into author, values one and two, and author dot name, comma, author dot country. And all of this is inside the for loop. Okay, so for the authors, one by one, we'll create the author. We'll initialize the value based on the author struct. And then we'll insert that particular author's values, like name and country, into the author table, which is uh, which exists in the Postgres uh, database, Postgres database library. And the table is called author. Okay. So this author is the Postgres table. This author is something we're creating for ourselves. And this author with capital A is the struct. And the authors is a hash map. Okay, so there are multiple small things here and there, which you need to be aware of. Now, finally, we have for row in client.query. This is for querying the values. So I'm gonna say select ID, comma, name, comma, country, from author so this will help me create those values in the in the table and this will help me fetch those values so we're going to be doing two things here adding values and fetching those values so in the crud operation that's that's create and that's read c and r we've done okay and let author equal to author and you'll get the values id row dot get zero name will be in row dot get one and country and we'll print it out to the terminal author is from so here we'll print the name of the author and the name of the country of that author. So here we're going to say author dot name comma author dot country. And that's it. That's our little project. Okay. So just I'll quickly go over it again. Uh, we create our connect connection to Postgres like we did last time. We, uh, we, we can connect into a specific database called library. The library has two tables, author and books. We want to work with the authors table in this particular video. From Postgres, we got client which helps us connect to uh, Postgres to TLS and error. Error helps us with errors. Created a struct called uh, author and we also got hash map from collections. Now, <coughs> we created uh, our hash map called authors and in that we inserted three authors from the country, uh, from a particular country, three different countries. And now uh, we have a for, for loop here which went through all the authors and then one by one taken its key and value so key is the name of the author and value is the country of the author so that's how we're able to assign that value to author which is a variable we're creating here which is of type author which is a struct now with the help of client.execute client basically is the connection to postgres with the help of client.execute you're able to run this command called insert into author and name and country are the two fields and value will be dollar one dollar two uh, these are going to be replaced dynamically with the help of author.name and author.country. You know, author is this and author.name and author.country are going to be inserted. This helps us insert, this helps us fetch those values. The way we fetch is, is for row in client.query, select id name country from author and you're going to get all the values from there and then uh, print them to the terminal. So that's, that's it. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run this program uh, and then see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and say cargo run and there could be a couple of errors not a problem and on the right is yeah so we, we got a few errors so uh, one is obviously connect which the, the spelling of connect is wrong so I'm gonna at least go ahead and fix that and then I'm gonna run it and then see if there are any more issues 
So there are more issues here. So let's also fix those. So if you notice the next issue that we have is to do with hash map and it's saying that there is a um, semicolon required here and that makes sense because I don't have a semicolon here and I'll just go ahead and put it there and then I will run the code again uh, I still get another issue it says use standard collections hash map similar name exists in the module hash map no hash map yeah because M is not supposed to be small so M has to be capital which is awesome uh, that Rust is telling you the exact issue okay and now again it should have been hash map new uh, out here cool. so I'll go ahead and try to run the program again okay so it's run it runs and then it uh, and then now I get uh, all these authors which I'm retrieving <coughs> from the table author so now if I see here select start from author I can see three authors being created and we can run the program again if you want we can um, delete from author everything and then select from author and then there's now zero rows I'll run the program again and again if I select from author and I see those three rows have been created Thank you for watching this video. I just want to tell you about my project course, which is six AI plus Go projects advanced course. We build six awesome killer real world production level applications. For example, the Kubernetes AI assistant, the Terraform AI copilot terminal AI assistant. The link for this course will be in the description of this video. And you get 26 hours of content and extremely detailed planning exercises for each project. Code is well documented. Each line of code has been explained and um, all of these projects are real value, high, uh, high value, real world, high value projects, and these can be turned into monetizable products. Okay, so awesome, awesome course uh, that I've released. Do check it out. Do buy it and uh, learn from this. If you are looking for a job in 2024, if you're a GoLang developer looking to upgrade uh, or increase your salary, this is the right course for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do share this with your friends and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video.